Bienvenue sur le podcast français de King's College School. Bonjour tout le monde. Today, I'm going to help you get started with some basic answers on the topic of daily routine. Voici la première question. Tu te lèves à quelle heure en général? Tu te lèves à quelle heure en général? What time do you get up in the morning? Well, you could just say, I get up at 8, but you have to fill in that blank. How are you going to do that? Think about it. If you just say, I get up at 8 o'clock, then it's not going to work. It's far too short. You need to really expand your answers. So you could say, well, actually, I wake up at such a time, but I get up at another time. Because, uh, well, what happens in between? Perhaps you like to listen to the radio, or you talk with your brother, if you're sharing a room, for example, or your sister. Already, if you've listened, I've used one parce que, one est, and one mais. That's really good. These are the words you need to expand your sentences. So, let's sum up. I wake up normally at six o'clock, but I get up at seven because I like to talk with my brother. That's a really good answer already. Hey, by this point in time, if you said all that, you must be chuffed with yourself. But we need more. More, I hear you say. You do. This is how we're going to do it. By now, you've put together a really good sentence. But you've talked about what time you get up during the week. Perhaps... Hopefully for you, it's different at the weekend. You get up later. So, during the week, I get up at around 8 o'clock. But, at the weekend, I get up at 10. Because I like to sleep. That could be a good one. This is what it will sound like in French if you put together everything I've advised you to do. En général, je me réveille à 6 heures, mais je me lève à 7 heures parce que j'aime écouter la radio. Le week-end, je me lève à 10 heures parce que j'aime dormir. By now, you should be thinking, yeah, I can do that. Perhaps we can even do better. Listen to this. En général, le lundi ou le mardi, je me réveille à 6 heures. Mais je me lève à 7 heures parce que j'aime écouter la radio. Le week-end, c'est différent. Normalement, le samedi, je me lève à 10 heures parce que j'aime dormir. Et le dimanche, C'est super cool. Je me lève à 11 heures et demie. The great thing about this podcast is that you can listen to it again and again. Don't be scared to try and make longer sentences. You can do it too. Now we get to the second question. It's a question you've rehearsed really well particularly in year six when we talked about food. You can answer this question in so many different ways. Which is going to be your way? Qu'est-ce que tu prends au petit déjeuner? Qu'est-ce que tu prends au petit déjeuner? Now you know that you can't just answer a couple of things or make a list. You have to make long sentences using mais, et, 
aussi parce que I'll say this again for you mais et aussi parce que they are the words that will help you make longer sentences in the same way as you mentioned the difference between when you get up during the week and when you get up during the weekend you can do that here too you have a variety of possibilities here you can say what time you have breakfast with whom what you have for breakfast what you have for breakfast during the weekend that might be different too here are some possible answers you decide which one you like best and which one you would like to model yours on Je prends des céréales avec un jus d'orange. Now listen to this one. Je prends des céréales normalement euh, avec un jus d'orange euh, et aussi un verre de lait. Already you can see a huge difference. But all I've done here is to add more things to eat and link them with a Now listen to this. This is a real showstopper. The one everyone will want to listen to. See what you make of it. En général, je prends euh, un verre de lait avec un bol de céréales. Mais aussi, j'aime boire un verre de jus d'orange. Well, there's no comparison, is there? Just keep adding to it. Now, try this. Normalement, le lundi, le mardi ou le mercredi, euh, je prends un bol de céréales avec un verre de jus d'orange. J'adore le jus d'orange parce que c'est très bon. Aussi, je mange un fruit. Par exemple, une banane. Hey, by now you must be really impressed. But I haven't finished. Let me add a bit more. En général, le week-end, je mange avec ma famille. J'adore manger des saucisses avec du bacon et des haricots à la sauce tomate. Mmm, c'est bon! So what will you do when you come to record your own answer? Will you stick to very, very short basic sentences? Or will you add to it? Well, let's find out. For this one, you can practice on your own. Quand tu arrives au collège, qu'est-ce que tu fais? Quand tu arrives au collège, qu'est-ce que tu fais? We'll find out how you got on with this one when you get to the lesson. In the meantime, it's au revoir from me. I hope you have enjoyed this podcast and I hope you're looking forward to the next episode. Au revoir. de français de King's College School.